civil rights didn't write your resume, but civil rights made somebody read your resume. Don't act like whatever you achieve, you achieve because you were that smart. You got there because some unleaded grandmas who never saw an inside of a college campus put their bodies on the line in Alabama and Mississippi and sponsored you up here. National Action Network engages uh, people. We engage people every day on the ground. Uh, we engage our state legislators, our national uh, legislators, uh, in the capitals of cities and, 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 and in Washington, D.C. Uh, we, of course, uh, engage corporate leaders and, and seek to hold them responsible and accountable uh, to communities across this country. Our chapters are often our first line of defense in dealing with issues on the ground and creating a grassroots movement to respond to issues. Our chapters work together with our national staff to ensure that communities are protected against injustices and treated fairly. And again, we do that uh, because we're on the ground. We do that because we know that every Saturday morning uh, we hold rallies at the National Action Network. We get feedback from the regular everyday person that's on the ground in cities across this country because the rally is also webcast all across the nation. Uh, it's broadcast on radio uh, in the tri-state area of New York City. So we really stay in touch and, and we know that that's important because it's always important to know where your base is at, the people that you ultimately represent. And because we have a connection to those people, we have the ears of those who are both elected to represent them and who serve them uh, in terms of the businesses and services that they offer consumers across this country. So we are relevant, and that's why they listen. Well, as director of uh, membership for National Action Network, uh, one of my primary focuses um, within the organization is to engage our members on a national uh, level. Um, and the organization is still growing. We have over 60 chapters now. Um, and it's important that our members uh, become active members of the organization, not just supporting us um, from a distance, but to really become active participants of change. And so that's what we, um, that's what we gear to, uh, to increase and to promote. Well, we have four initiatives uh, right now. One of them is the Higher Education Awareness and Dropout Prevention Initiative. We know that minorities and low-income students have been underrepresented in colleges and universities uh, for a matter of decades. And we also know that most of the new jobs that will be created will require some type of post-secondary education. So we have a series of workshops and mentoring programs geared toward getting, bridging the gap, getting more young people uh, that post-secondary education credential. Uh, number two, dropout prevention. Uh, a, a high school dropout is twice as likely to be unemployed. And so, so we know that it's imperative that we stop this dropout epidemic in this country. So we try to construct programming to address that need as well. Uh, 7,000 students drop out of high school each day, more than one million a year. Um, and Education for a Better America has been uh, really influential on the ground um, to really bolster relationships between policymakers, between educators, parents, teachers, and students um, to really make a, a large impact in the schools and the school systems that we service um, on, a, on a daily basis in urban communities. So one of the goals is to um, engage these members. Um, education is definitely the 21st century civil rights issue. We are up earliest in the morning and we go to bed last at night. We leave no stone unturned and we respond to every call in a timely and immediate fashion. We try to plan ahead and we try to see the future so we know what moves need to be made. I think what makes us the best, what makes us a leading organization is that we believe in the work, we take it seriously, and we do it diligently. Most significantly, we organized the 50th anniversary March on Washington, the national action to realize the Dream March that took place in August.
even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. Our year really started out when we recreated uh, the march from Selma to Montgomery uh, for the right to vote. It was re recreated the 1965 uh, March for Voting Rights Act. That is when uh, John Lewis and other activists who crossed the Edmund Pettus Bridge uh, was met by the billy clubs of Alabama state troopers and beat back. Uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. came in several weeks and they successfully, with the help of National Guardsmen, successfully was able to march from Montgomery to Selma, Alabama. The beating on that bridge forced the President of the United States to realize at the time to make sure that black Americans, and therefore all Americans, had the unequivocal right to vote was now. Uh, Dr. King, uh, in Montgomery during that march, said, the urgency of the matter was now, the time was now, when he said, how long, not long, and, and that was what had to happen. For Johnson, we had ID when we voted for Nixon. We had ID when we voted for those that succeeded him, Carter, Reagan, Bush, Clinton, Bush again. Why, when we get to Obama, do we need some special ID? And National Action Network has a House of Justice. Uh, it was dedicated uh, and named uh, by one of the mentors of Reverend Sharpton, uh, Reverend Jesse Jackson. And we try to live up to the meaning of that name, the House of Justice. And every Saturday, uh, we hold a community rally that is broadcast uh, throughout uh, the nation, uh, both on, on internet and on radio. Uh, we make sure uh, that people can come there that are looking for help, uh, that need assistance, that are looking for referrals. Uh, we hold a monthly legal night uh, in order to give people in our community an affordable way to get direction on some of the legal challenges that face them in a community. All of our chapters uh, duplicate those efforts in many ways, which is how we stay connected uh, to the communities that we serve. Uh, we try to know what the needs are uh, within that community and we try to help people meet those needs. My goal is to turn demonstration into legislation. Legislation needs to be passed to restore the Voting Rights Act and also to protect people from racial profiling and egregious laws like stand your ground and policies like stop and frisk. In order to do that, we will demonstrate, but the end goal has to be legislation to ensure that our communities are protected. We see a new America. We see an America of equality, of justice, of fairness. We march because we're going to bring a new America, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice, not for some, not for who you choose, not for who you like, but for all. We believe in a new America. It's time to march for a new America. It's time to organize for a new America. It's time to register and vote for a new America. We're on our way. We're on our way. We're on our way. We're